uh, first of all, happy birthday and welcome to the Rio Grande Valley. But I've got to ask you, you know, your first couple of games in, uh, you've turned in some solid performances. Well, what do you feel has been key for you to uh, keep contributing to this team so far in this early part of the season? Yeah, I mean, right now I'm just trying to focus on doing my job and helping the team out in whatever way I'm asked. So, um, yeah, I mean, whatever Wilmer and Jerson come up with for the team, I try to do my best to execute it and be a good teammate to all the other guys. And the last one on my end, you know, uh, following a Sunday night game now, turning over to a quick turnaround on a Friday night, just how are you feeling uh, from a physical and mental standpoint uh, now that the USL schedule continues uh, to pick up steam for the season now? Uh, I like playing games, so when they come fast, it's all the better, and i um, looking forward to Friday. Thank you. Good evening, uh, Mr. Kinsner, and of course, happy birthday from me too. Um, I wrote it to you on Twitter today, so I maybe have to repeat it <laughs> yeah, twice. So so um, my question is a bit more complicated because you are a young player compared to like Eric Pimentel, of course, but you played in three different leagues now in the last couple of seasons, Next Pro, League One, and now Championship. How would you compare those leagues, maybe with your um, playing style? And... The last two games were quite different for you. The first one was at, I think, 90 degree, your 60 minutes. And last week, like 90 minutes in 50 degrees. So, yeah, what's your impression about the first games and maybe the change in the leagues? Yeah, I mean, each league presents its own challenges. Um, I'm excited to be back in championship. Uh, I had uh, like a season and a half with Tacoma before they changed MLS next. And I thought that gave me a good insight to what the league's about. And I'm at a point where I'm ready to perform and do things that I probably wasn't able to do at that age. Um, I might be younger than the other guys, but I'm trying to accumulate experiences that help me be successful. And as far as the first two games, um, like I said before that, I'm just focusing on how I can help the team in whatever role I'm asked. So if that's coming off the bench, then great. If that's starting, then great. Um, I haven't had any silverware one in my professional career, and that's a, a goal of mine. So I can't do that by myself. And um, so as long as I'm doing what's best for the team and progressing forward, then I'm I'm happy. Am I allowed? Okay. Uh, just a quick another question. Um, you are more used to the temperature uh, in the north if you exclude your year in Tucson last season. Um, would you say, if you um, compare the last both games, which is more suiting to you um, to play? Because I think it's quite different to play in like 90 degrees to 100 and last week to compare it to your time in Tucson or in Washington. Yeah, yeah. Um... For me, by the time kickoff rolls around, I'm not really focused on that. Um, but as my leisurely time goes, I definitely prefer the cooler, cooler weather. Thanks. But, uh, Eric, first of all, happy birthday. Thank you. Uh, overall, during these uh, first couple of games, how would you grade the defensive attack and the way that you guys have been defending the ball and swimming the chances for the point? Um, I mean, we always go out to win the game and keep shutouts. So there's a little bit disappointed that we haven't been able to do that yet, especially at home. But at the same time, we're building. And I think we've definitely made progress in the right direction. We have a lot of good players. And um, as we get more comfortable playing with each other, I think uh, a lot of shutouts and wins hopefully are ahead of us. And my last question on my end is, uh, what's that dialogue been like in regards to this uh, middle players or season players that have been here before and not a system like what well, uh, the sort of Eric and, and the way that uh, they're kind of showing you the ropes in a sense of how, how the defense uh, would like to be played or what we would like to uh, go for every two games. So what's been that dialogue like with that? No, we have a lot of good leaders in the squad and um, they definitely helped me get settled both on and off the field. Um, they they played in this league and other leagues 
and high levels and they know what they're talking about. And I like to think that I bring something to the table as well. And all of us putting our ideas together, we can do good things. And obviously, one of the, the younger members of the defensive squad now, obviously, for today. Um, what has it been like for you and after this event, especially with how everyone wants to do now? Yeah, I mean, I think it was already mentioned in this before, but I've played in three different leagues with numerous coaches, and I feel like my experience as a youth and as a professional have prepared me to be ready for whatever a coach brings my way, and I'm just focusing on executing the game plan. And then here, too, Manchester City at home, obviously, we're looking to throw another three matches at home. Yeah, the fans are great here. Um, you know, when you dream of playing soccer as a little kid, this is pretty close to it. So I've been really pleased with the, the turnout of the fans and hopefully they keep coming out and we'll see them Friday. Hello, Juan V. the greetings. Um, for you... This season has been a little bit of a complicated start because of the two draws, but entering this weekend, uh, uh, Friday night against uh, Monterey Bay, what, what kind of changes have you guys uh, seen uh, from a tactical standpoint where you could you guys could put yourselves in position to try to get three points because defensively, you guys have looked solid. Offensively, the goals are, are, are starting to come up. Where do you feel like the improvement is going to be from uh, for Friday night? Um, I think it's, it's critical that we start by keeping the zero in the back. Um, I think the fact that we don't concede goals are going to give us um, more confidence or the opportunity to find the goal uh, anywhere. I think we need to be patient. These type of uh, moments where you, in this case, you tie uh, two games in a row at home, it's it's where we need to find um, the way to be calm, uh, not to get desperate because it's going to be worse. So try to keep the zero in the back, and then the goal is going to come. We need to be a little bit more solid defensively in order for uh, not to concede too many chances for the opponent team. Um, we are building up our team. We are getting to know each other better. And I'm pretty sure that as the the teammates who are like uh, recovering are going to join us, um, the team is going to get stronger and stronger. Good evening, Mr. Cab uh, Mr. Cabeza from Germany. And I have some not so tactically uh, question for you because you are a bit the mentor of the midfield squad of RGV. But RGV lost many young midfielders in the off season, like Emilio Icaza or Isidro Martinez. And you got some new and young players like Ian Thero or Taylor Davila. Um, how did this impact your maybe life as in the mentor role or maybe on your on the pitch itself when your colleagues are a bit new to the game or a bit new to the Toros in the last two games or in the near future? I think it's a matter of uh, giving ourselves a little bit more time uh, to get to know each other uh, with the Isidro and uh, in this case, Emilio, we were playing for a couple seasons. And uh, what gives you real knowledge about what how your teammate plays is just the games. Because at the end, in practice, in practice uh, you can do or you can get to know your teammates, but uh, practice are not going to be uh, the intense, as intense as the game is. So it's a matter, I think, of time and repetition of our uh, principles, our objective. And if the games we have in front of us, we can take advantage to not only get each other, but their 
joined by results, that knowledge are gonna go a little bit, uh, it's gonna flow a little bit more. And uh, I know the core of the team is the mid, um, the center, like in this case, the center midfielders are the ones that are called to keep the, the structure of the team. And it, it doesn't happen only for us, but any team of the world, if the core of the team, in this case, the midfielders are doing okay, most likely the team is gonna be okay. So we have a big responsibility with the team and I know we are gonna get better for the quality uh, that, these, that these guys who came in this year uh, have on his feet. Thanks. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, we, uh, obviously, you talked about the two draws that we had and the second one was a result of a little bit of, uh, not so much relaxation, but miscommunication in the back that was also to the second goal we scored. How do we avoid uh, how we should have that big last year on we had uh, pretty much the game secure with either a whole advantage or anything like that, and then you allow us to come back again. How do you get more towards obviously getting the result of Friday and then going on the road to avoid that situation? We're pretty sure that the second half should have been better. Uh, we gave up the ball too many times. Uh, no, it can happen in our house, in our home in this case. Because this team, in this case, uh, Auckland played well and they had a good players and they took advantage on, of our lack of quality to keep the ball in our favor and um, to manage it a little bit more. And I think to score the second goal. So we have, we have lived this type of, uh, you know, moments the last the last couple of years, and we know how tough it is to go through it. Um, I think we can avoid going through this, uh, like a difficult moments. It's gonna be uh, better for the team. Um, and definitely the fact that we win at home, it's gonna give you, it give us, pardon, sorry, the, the chance to improve in our performance. Uh, if we try to do things, but the results don't come, uh, it's going to be tough to believe in the process. And then we get to our uh, fighting match, we have one right there, and it gets up an extra weapon as we go into success. We're doing anything that matters from here with him. Uh, he was here in the past of the total. He's known to be a very pretty dynamic, like, great of attacker on the wings and a uh, striker. Um, what have you guys been planning on as far as facing people that we could possibly be us playing our team? And being able to slow them down to be able to avoid 10%, uh, given up the goal here at home. I think we will we'll identify their strength. In this case, each player's uh, skills, or uh, in this case, a strength. But uh, we are gonna talk deeper, I think, right before the, the the game. But I think the the main idea is gonna be how we are gonna overcome or uh, try to figure it out their 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 strength. In this case, this type of players who are really skillful, and but. I think if we impose ourselves and uh, we don't let them to impose themselves, uh, it's going to be key for us. And uh, the fact that mm, we can't give up any more points at home, I think that's 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 the, that's critical for us in this moment. Okay. Well, I'm going to ask. Okay. No, we we'll started in English with Shad. Okay. Shad, are you ready? Yeah. Okay, there you go. There. He needs to go to bed. <laughs> no. Um, good evening, Mr. Cabrera from Germany. Uh, I have two questions, if allowed. And I want I would start with the first and ask the second after your answer. My first question is, um, compared to a team like Las Vegas, Monterey Bay didn't change a lot their roster or their staff compared to last season. But the Toros changed a lot compared to last season. So I wanted to ask um, 
Is this made the preparation for Friday a bit more difficult? If we know much more about their team, if our team is more work in progress to, compared to their experienced and in played team compared to others? Yes, I think right now what Monterrey Bay has uh, put on the field for the last two games, it's been 90% uh, of what they had last season. Uh, for us, it has been different. Uh, despite that, we signed 11 players from the last year. Definitely, we have to use a different type of uh, players. Uh, mostly, it's because we don't have them available yet. Um, that makes um, more complicated for us because, you know, for us, is the transition between the ones that are available with the new ones trying to put all together and trying to make them work. Uh, it's been not difficult, but it, it takes more time. Uh, uh, for them, they, they look more sharper, they look more into it. It's one or two, one player or two new uh, additions. So uh, that's, that's easier, uh, but we have to deal with that and we have to move forward. Um, and we cannot make, I don't want to make excuses and I don't allow my players to make excuses about that. I don't want that. So uh, definitely, it, you know, it's, they're, they're very strong. They're, you know, we know them. We played them last year, despite last year, the last game of the season. Monterrey Bay went through a difficult situation themselves uh, and um, they they didn't have the, the, the chance to qualify in the last game. Some uh, factors outside the, 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 the field, but uh, it, they were a good team and they were a team that uh, were very complicated and very competitive. Uh, among the the, the the other the other teams in in this league, so I believe this season there's they started strong. They have lost. Uh, they they won one game very solid. They lost the second one uh, against uh, Louisville, which for me Louisville is one of the best teams in one of the two top teams in this league so far uh, because the quality of the players they. They've been working together for a year, years and very good roster, very good, uh, you know. So, but uh, it doesn't mean Monterrey Bay is not a good team. It's very, very solid team. And um, obviously coming over here, they're going to try to recover and they, 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 they're going to watch that we have some new guys, some new players. So, uh, they're going to try to take advantage of of having them all together, trying to be motivated, and, and it's going to be a tough game. I have a small question uh, to, to end my questions today. Um, I think most of the fans in the community thought with the three home games in a row, we can have a good start in the new season before we will have some road games ahead. You know, the games happened like them happened. And I wanted to ask about the mentality of the players in maybe the locker room or training. If they are maybe a bit under pressure yet because it's the last home game before we will have like Open Cup or Detroit. And a little bit combined with that, if they have a lot of pressure or a bit pressure in their mind because of Friday, is this is this good in your in your eyes so they can a bit more aggressive or focused to win or is it maybe a problem because they are not focused with the mind on the whole game but just maybe on the mistakes of the past? First, we we have to play under pressure. We have to play under pressure. If we don't know how to play under pressure, we shouldn't be here. The players cannot be here because you know you have to go every time to try to win. 
home or away. And we have lost the chance to win three points the last two games at home. And that is putting us even more under pressure for the third game. What does it mean? It means that we need to be more solid. It needs us to be uh, more aggressive to win the ball. It needs that, that, that to be better with the ball. And it needs that we need to be more aggressive to find the opponent's goal in order for us to finish the games. That's the pressure we have to, and that's the pressure we need to have. Uh, but after that, nothing else. You know, it's a long season. We need to continue adding. And, you know, and bottom line, if we win a game on on Friday, we're gonna have uh, we're gonna reach five points, and five of nine, it's more than fifty percent. So that is not bad at all. And you know, if you said to me. Uh, at the beginning of the season that you're going to have five points in three games, uh, I would sign whatever you have to in a paper. I would sign that for that because it means five points means being solid, being uh, more than 50% of the points, a little bit more than 50% of the points. And if you get 50% of the total points in this league, you're in the playoff. Okay. Thanks, coach. Uh, for you. So obviously you look into the last two matches where you you got a result to draw here at home. Um, looking at a tough road trip coming up, we got uh, about a month away from home. What are the adjustments you've been looking at to make your win game no surprise today in the match that you did against uh over the loops and what you just want to say from about those three points? What we need to continue is to have a good mentality of you know the new players get used to the freedom and get used to what we need to do and uh, try to recover some guys that they haven't been able to play and uh, they're important for us. That's uh, the focus that we have right now. Uh, it doesn't matter if we play here at home or away. Uh, hopefully we have every time more players available on our roster so we create a good com competitiveness and um, uh, but uh, right now, that's the the focus. The focus is we need to have the players. We need to continue working on every game. Hopefully, we can be more hungry and better in terms of how we work on the field as a team in order for us to try to get the three points. Yes, Wilmer. Good afternoon. Uh, just uh, the one question for you: How much pressure do you? already have in this season uh, knowing that the first two games were draws but now you, you kind of feel like the three points are a must to really uh, consolidate your team uh, to put them in a position where you don't want a repeat of the first uh, two seasons when it comes to the home portion of the schedule yes it's a it's pressure we have to we have to put pressure on ourselves and again this sport without pressure is not fun uh, because it's how it's how we compete. You know? We have to be competitive and uh, we're not happy with the two ties. Uh, we want to win. And now on Friday, we have the possibility against a very tough team. We want to win. We want to get the three points and we are putting pressure on ourselves for that, those three points good result and hopefully, you know, playing well.